hi, say hi, say hi. hi. So we're here we are, <laughs> it's Loi Katrong at uh, Wat Vai King. Uh, and it's a crazy place tonight, I tell you. Yeah, so unlike last year where Loi Katrong was just uh, filled pretty much you know, two weeks or I think four weeks after uh, the passing of the king uh, and all uh, entertainment had been shut down, well this year you know, the morning period is over and um, we're having a lot of fun. Well we're going to have a lot of fun, well we hope we're going to have a lot of fun. I don't know darling. I think Well, you want to do the Loikatrong first? Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got. Yeah. Now, the Loikatrong candles are uh, traditionally, well, actually, traditionally, they were a floating, um, they, were, they were a lantern um, uh, up until about 300 years ago. Um, now the, uh, the tradition is to uh, make the candles out of a um, uh, what are called a uh, banana um, plant, and uh, they're adorned uh, with three pieces of incense. Yep, yep, and a candle. And you look for something that looks pretty. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to find something pretty, darling. Everybody has a candle, and uh, they uh, float it down the river, and it. Uh, it's used to represent good luck. So as you can see, some of these are very, very nicely or daintily. Or, no, very, very nice. I like this one. This one looks pretty, darling. Of course, I suppose, uh, ideally, you're supposed to make them yourself. But, uh, I would never clue where you, where you start with this stuff. Marlene, what, what you want? You can show. It's okay, I see one. Okay, I can buy one you can show. I see one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hill for, uh, for school? Maybe, yes, for school. For school, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's good, good, good. Okay, so I chose this one and it just caught my eye. And this is the one that Chan just got. Yeah, Chan, yeah, yeah. And this one here, you want for good luck? Yeah, you can oh. see. Yep. Photo first, photo first. Photo. Uh, yeah, yeah, well you can get photo. I've got the video. Okay, okay, okay. Go down, go down. Go down, go down. Yeah, so the, the whole idea is it, uh, it's, it's, out, it's a sort of out with the old, in, in with the new sort of idea. It's the end of the uh, lunar cycle. This is the, the first full moon, or the twelfth full moon okay. in the cycle. And uh, when you think about it, it's um, the start of the cool season, um, so the rainy season's over. Now we're into the winter. Uh, I suppose, you know, on a, on a on a farming level where all these things started, uh, the crops have all been picked, and um, it's the start of the, the winter. Very ornate. I don't know if the camera is doing any any uh, good justice with their colours and everything else, but as you can see right ahead of us over here, we got something floating in the river. Now, unfortunately, so I don't have three or four hands with this one, so I won't be able because we actually have to go down here down the, the ramp to do the floating part um, it's going to be make it very hard for me to actually film it as well as um, um, see the whole thing working and there's a bit of a breeze going as well a bit of a breeze going so trying to light the candles will be a bit of fun too but just hold on a second I want to take a photo out of you what you looking for darling bye bye oh, wait, 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 wait. She's in my pocket again a ten bar. Okay. Yeah. Let's go over here. 
You see, here they are trying to wave the candles down the river. So that's going to make it a bit hard to try to shoot a video at the same time. Without falling in the water, of course. And I said there's a bit of a breeze going, so trying to get the candle to light might be a bit of fun. But it's the thought that counts. And there's our candles floating away. <laughs> the flames already blown out. But it's all good. Okay, so the blessing's done and now they're just doing the doing the selfie thing. I think that's what they call a photo bomb with a, with a video camera. Okay, let's go see what else is going on around here. Parking was actually a murderous tonight. Even getting up here was murderous. Um, and was that even a word? I don't know. But it uh, might be a bit loud. <laughs> which is pretty normal for these sort of events. They love putting on their loudspeakers. I have no idea what they're saying. But it's all good. So we just had the uh, monks sprinkle us with water and it's getting my camera wet now. Still, still sprinkling us with water. It's all right. Oh, these loudspeakers, I tell you what, I don't think they've actually heard of OHS and uh, and uh, actually seeing you know, like the maximum level of uh, sound that is permissible in a public area at 120 decibels, but seriously, that's way, way more. Yes, here we have the monkeys sprinkling the water, which is part of the blessing. <laughs> Another part of it is, of course, uh, in some parts of Thailand there will be uh, the floating lanterns as well. I think that's being prohibited in uh, the build-up areas because the risk of uh, the risk of sort of something going up in flames. And I think they also needed sort of permissions. No matter where you were, there had to be permission sort of thing given before you could float the candles. It's all good. And you see, it's a hive of activity. And very colourful. It's always a good feeling you come to these places and people just want to know you and shake your hand and uh, you know, like ask you where you're from and everything else. It always makes you good. They're like uh, Australia. Well, yes, 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 they love this. They love this. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's you know, seeing foreigners come and participate in their Thai traditions. It gives them a good feeling. And I enjoy it too. It's a lot of fun. Of course, before we've done the temple thing, we'll go and do a blessing as well. But, but right now, I'm just going to put the pan around. It is definitely sort of a, a different vibe this year than it was last year. Of course, that's understandable, but it's colourful. And that's something that I think we never really appreciate properly from Thailand. Is the vibrancy of their religious holidays. They're not solemn events. They're events of good luck. So we've got our little garland and our incense and we'll go and do our little supplication thing. Yes, darling? Yeah. You have your flower? Yeah. Oh, yes, very good, very good. Hi. Hi. What's the dog? dog? What's the dog? What's the dog? Donkey, donkey. I always think it looks great, these little statues of Buddha with the uh, gold leaf. You want to go on? See inside? Yeah, I think the prophecy sticks or something like that. Not quite sure what they're called. I don't believe any of this sort of weird. <laughs> Luck is what you make it. Yep, so 
third, one always pops out. Number 11. 11? It's good. You gotta see, you gotta look now. Yes, it does really. Over here on the wall, it'll tell you what that number 11 means. There we go, there's her number 11. I don't think I've showed you inside the actual temple itself before. Again, lovely sort of uh, paintings and motifs around the side. Not a pretentious Buddha, but it's very pretty. You know, respecting the past and present kings. But it's the it's the artwork on the on the temples themselves. You don't actually have to read Thai, but you can see the stories that are outlined. See if anybody's stolen our shoes. This always, it always worries me the fact that you, you take your shoes off in these places and somebody else is going to come along and take them. But so far it hasn't happened and again here tonight it hasn't happened again tonight. Shoes are still here. The food hall. Yes, we had lunch well with uh, Mark today. Now we're getting a bit on the package side, seeing it's nine o'clock. So we've had a bite to eat, uh, and Sunny, she's uh, gone off to see a friend. We'll go and grab the car and go and meet up with her. Because before we go, we just take a bit more of a shot of the river. Um, we're up the far end where it looks the brightest. Uh, give you an idea of just you know what it's like at Watray King for um, the celebrations for Loka Trial. He says to go, I could go to drive over there and have a look at it a bit closely. <clears throat> yeah, one of the things we haven't seen on this side here is the traditional maidens dancing. Uh, it is part of the tradition, like the young girls will get up there and they would do their stuff to the music and, um, you know, really, you know, it's part of, I suppose, a fertility right. And the loudspeakers, oh my god. This is not the fertility rights sort of young girls dancing. This is something that the school is putting on. Yeah, so at Wat Rai King, there's actually a school attached to it. This is something that the young students are doing. Some sort of traditional play dance. This 
so we've bounced over the other side of the river and we've got a market and a few other bits and pieces and some loud music playing around somewhere. So we'll see what that's all about. Seems like there's more people at the market than there was over at the actual temple. You've got to love commercialism, haven't you? So, so much for the religion. Everybody wants to make some money. Get your bags. Hello. <laughs> Of course, traditionally the Wadrai King has always had an outside market uh, on the temple grounds. So I don't know why they've uh, stopped doing that, but uh, maybe reason. Who knows? But I guess you know, like uh, this is the market maybe that was usually on the other side. This is sort of in the open air and not underneath the roof anymore. Crickets and bugs, oh my god. No, I've eaten them already, don't want any more. No, not one, not no, one. No, 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 no. Oh my, they're still alive. Easy. No. No. Catch them there, put them in there. Oh my god. What about buying every one of those helium balloons and <laughs> take it home for Bill and she can float away? <laughs> of the other side of the river uh, before the music starts up again and they've got a copyright strike but again there's the uh, patrol in the river we just seem to have lots and lots of stalls selling patrols tonight Well, anyway, guys and girls, like we're going to continue to just shop around here and then head off on head off on our way home just before I get trampled. Anyway, so don't forget uh, if you're in Bangkok area, you just drop us a message and we'll see if we can hook up. Um, what else is there? Now, don't forget to check out my my new blog website uh, www.dia.net.au. That's where I'll be sort of keeping all the stuff from now on. Um, Gives me a bit of flexibility, you know, so I can post things from around the place. Um, yeah, and you know, drop some comments down there, hit the like button, you know, the whole stuff. Anyway, darling, yeah, darling, say goodbye. We're going bye bye. bye bye. See you later. <laughs> See you later, guys.